So yes, you guys, I am going to do a uh, updated recap. You have to forgive me. I was so into the story and I did not want, well, I wanted the recap to be, you know, comical. When you saw it, I wanted you to laugh. I wanted you to, you know, be like, you know, tell me how you felt about the characters. When I go through Pocket FM, I read the comments, you know, that people are saying going along with the story. A lot of people get pissed off at Zoe and they always asking like, where is Max at? You know, it, it's, it'd be funny. And so I wanted to have those same reactions with, you know, you guys who are looking at the recap videos and I wanted it to be funny, but I said, oh my God my bias is showing I should not be giving a bias recap I should you know just be recapping and telling you guys what I had heard up and you know up until whatever point I decided to end it but it was so biased and um that was just me having a little bit of fun I had planned to redo it way before now but you guys look I'm a grown woman I'm a 18 year old Donna in high school okay I am currently studying psychology and human behavior and if I tell y'all this question that I'm stuck on oh, for something really important pertaining to that it maybe somebody out there can answer because it's driving me mad that I can't figure it out okay with all my studying so yes I have to study I have to work I have to be a mom and you know <clears throat> live my life unfortunately i cannot just stop everything i'm doing even when i want to sometimes to do certain things but i'm going to start the new recap tonight i believe um i said i was going to redo the old one and make it a little less biased However, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to pick up where I left off because we had to go through a hundred chapters of uh, Blaine not knowing that Max was his son. And I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not trying to go back through that. I'm really not. And I'm, I love how the story got better after... Mm, I say chapter 100 the story got so much better and I have seen like all like I said all type of questions people have asked me you know what of course my videos pertain to anything we can heartache related make a same spoilers let me say that um but I have someone asked me um in a different post somewhere uh did Blaine and Zoe eventually end up together and I'm like yeah they do you know and they said well something about them breaking up where I had to say yeah they break up many times and get back together many times you know but um a lot of people mentioned just how stupid Zoe was how irritated them of course people talked about you know Ziva and Again, her unhealthy attraction to blame. Um, what really surprised me is no one really talked about Sophia much. No one really talked about Sophia much. She was next to Blaine's mom, like one of the main villains. She like she had sent people to kill Zoe and Max while they were in Paris after she won she won technically right um <clears throat> blame mary's her to save max so she won and yet you still sending people over to france to try to kill them uh this place was crazy and you know it's the part where she drugs zoe with an aphrodisiac Luckily, Blaine, you know, was still watching out for Zoe and still had spaz watching her. So he got the call, you know, when it happened and was able to come save Zoe because she did this with the intention of, again, I don't know what's up with a woman, a woman 
trying to have another woman raped is the lowest of the low. That's some low shit to do. For real. As a woman to set up another woman to be harmed that way. That's some evil shit. However, again, um, let me mention something to you guys uh, that I realized too now that I'm writing my story. Um, you, the author cannot write about like in detail, um, cannot write about acts of non, like non-consensual sex. So basically any grape, I guess I should say grape, uh, any grape, you know, they cannot write about it. I'm not sure if it can be insinuated or what, but they cannot write about, um, it's just mentioned, like no, and no underage stuff because <clears throat> I could tell you some things about me and when I was young <laughs> however uh it was a certain point in Max and Elena's story that was like come on man this is not nothing to you know um young women being in relationships with guys uh eight to Excuse me, I just belt y'all. I had some Coke, Coca Cola. <laughs> um, eight to ten years older than him. That's not nothing new. So for her to be eighteen and him twenty eight, you know, and them finally becoming intimate, it was definitely cool. I think for them to start it, start their physical relationship at that point. But um, yeah, so I understand now. I guess. Uh, why, of course, we never, like, in the story anyway, why Zoe never actually got assaulted that way. But, um, it still was just horrific that Sophia would try to set her up that way. Bitch, what's wrong with you? And, but no one really talked about that. No one really talked about how low down Sophia was. And <laughs> it's funny because... Earlier in the story, a lot of comments, um, again, this is on Pocket FM, uh, kind of said the same thing I was thinking. Like, why Blaine just ain't kill his mama? But, again, sorry, I'm getting another low battery warning. Again, this is the story. It's not my story. It is like a fantasy or a fairy tale, so we can't take it too seriously. Um... So, let me go ahead. I need to put this phone on the charger. I definitely need to get into my jammies and then, you know, do a new uh, recap for you guys. I'm thinking about going live. I just would prefer to go live with all my subscribers so we can talk about it together and everybody can get the details that they want together. I'm actually thinking about that. But if I do that, I will have to do it well, why don't I have a damn watch on? It's beyond me. I keep a watch on. But, um, yeah, it will have to be done sometime tomorrow when, you know, everyone can participate. I'm thinking, like, maybe 8.30ish, 9 o'clock. Maybe we can, you know, just go live and we can all discuss it together. But I am going to do a new video and try my best. To leave my bias out of it and just tell you guys what happened and that way y'all could tell me what y'all feeling but um if i didn't say this in the previous video i'm gonna say this now again i cannot and i want to i really do i, I would love to be able to share the story uh on my pocket fm i want to say like the story is unlocked up to chapter like two two something like 212 or whatever i would love to start from like a chapter 100 and you know post for those who haven't had a chance to <clears throat> you know or can't find or whatever the story i would love to do that however the author of that story owns it they own it and I have already gotten a strike 
for the videos that I posted um, where, what was it? Elena finally got the letter. I shared like two videos when Elena finally got the letter. I wanted to share her getting the letter and what she did afterwards. So, um, yeah, I got a email from YouTube letting me know that they had took, you know, they took the videos down and they gave my channel a strike. This is my channel. <laughs> I use this channel to listen to my music and, you know, share details about my businesses and whatnot. I cannot lose my personal channel, you guys. Now, I uh, will try to add, like, little snippets in there for the purpose of the recaps. But as far as posting chapters, I cannot do that. I cannot. It will be a copyright issue. Just like someone can't do it with my story. So, um, if I create another channel where, you know, I have the time to do so i will but yeah i cannot do that you guys i can only share my story and when i find the perfect clip to share with you guys i will it's called cold hearted but we're gonna talk soon